And let's now talk about some elements of uh, course planning in syllabus design. Course planning may involve uh, multiple levels of uh, planning, which must be observed in order to plan a proper course. And, and they also must be followed in order to prepare a healthy and useful uh, material for the future learners. And, and the one which is actually based on, on the needs and objectives already set for the learners. Uh, good course development and planning may involve the following dimensions. Uh, developing a course rationale, which, which may be uh, the uh, most primary or the beginning job. Uh, describing entry and exit levels. Uh, choosing course content, then sequen uh, sequencing that course content, then planning the course content, and then preparing the scope and sequence plan, uh, how that would be implemented to the actual classroom. In course rationale, as I said earlier, this may be the starting point of uh, planning a course. And it, it, it includes a written description about the overall nature and reasons of the course. And this might answer uh, to, to the following question. For example, uh, who is this course for? Or uh, what is the course about? And what kind of teaching and learning will take place in the course? So what is, uh, generally speaking, uh, is the basic reason behind initiating or introducing that course. This involves statements about uh, uh, the future or the prospective learners who would benefit from that course and about the overall nature of the course as well. Then in describing the entry and exit levels. This includes some information which may be required uh, about a student's entry level uh, from the previous results in, in uh, various proficiency tests, uh, test, and this would uh, actually determine their level of entry, entry into uh, the said course, and would also decide about uh, many things in, in the coming uh, teaching. Because this, this uh, might would comment on a student's uh, uh, possible, uh, possible level, as I said, and this possible level would uh, might change the objectives of the course as well. Uh, because if the level of students is too high or too low, then, then the general objectives of the course might be changed according to their level. So therefore, it's very important to determine the entry as well as the exit level of students. Then choosing course uh, content once the exit level is or entry level is decided and rationale has already been discussed. And then uh, people can go on for choosing the content. And this, ref this reflects on uh, planners' assumptions about uh, the nature of language, language use, uh, language learning, and what would be the most essential elements of language and its use, which must be taught uh, within a specific course. For example, uh, a writing course may be planned around grammar, syntax, uh, skills, processes, functions, and uh, various texts which may be introduced to the students. And then determining the scope uh, and sequence. A scope is concerned with the breadth and depth of uh, the course, how, how qualitatively deep uh, that course would be. Sequencing may be based on, uh, on the sequencing various elements of learning which would be introduced in that course. And sequencing might be based on, on various factors, for example, on chronology. Uh, something which happened earlier should come first and which happened later should come later. It may be based on some element of importance of certain elements or maybe a, maybe planned from simple to difficult text. Simple text might come first and, uh, and the complex text would come later. And then it, uh, it may also depend on certain prerequisite elements of learning. Something which needs to be learned first might be placed first and other, but it would need a thorough investigation and rationalization of the various elements of language learning which would be introduced uh, in that particular course. 
And then planning the course structure, this uh, requires more detailed planning, including the selection uh, of material and selection of a syllabus framework, and also in developing uh, instructional blocks. Uh, there could be various syllabus uh, frameworks, for example, we could have a grammatical uh, syllabus, uh, functional syllabus, situational syllabus, uh, then text-based syllabus, and task-based syllabus. Similarly, we have a certain uh, blocks, instructional blocks, which might include uh, planning by modules or by units. So it's up to the planners how would they want to introduce the material of a, uh, of a course uh, to the learners. Uh, do they want to do it through units or uh, through various modules?